we've, we've taken Break the Mold of a different approach. It's kind of a loose term, bass music, but that is really because a DJ at a variety of nights and you have to change it up. It's never commercial music, it's you know, your core underground genres and it's a really good vibe in, within society. So I am Steve Cataldo, also known as DJ Stuve, uh, and I help run the DJ Society. Uh, my role is the treasurer, so uh, my main responsibilities are making sure everyone's paid their membership fees and making sure that only people that have paid membership fees are allowed to do certain activities and opportunities that we provide. My name, my name is Roman Killip, uh, also known as Sofa King. Um, yeah, basically, um, I'm one of the uh, founders of the DJ Society here at DMU. Along with Ash and Rowan, um, we, we sort of came up with the idea to start a DJ Society. I'm actually the secretary of the DJ Society, um, so I take a lot of the minutes when we have meetings and uh, also just have a kind of overview on what is happening, really. I've got a friend um, called Nick who I met in first year through some house parties and stuff, and I said, well, he'll, he'll probably want to get involved as well, so he sort of founded it with us. So us four and Ryan Cooper were the first five people in the society and then we started to build it up over the end of the 2013-2014 year and then into the 2014-2015 year we started to build it up a lot more with new events and new nights and a lot more members. Uh, my name's Jake, I'm part of the DJ society here and I DJ under the name 8 Outs. My primary role in the site at the moment is uh, I'm just a member as I'm a first year student here at DMU. Uh, I'm looking to be more involved next year though. Uh, so the DJ Society started up about just over a year ago, um, within basically within the media production module. The main hiccup we faced was that uh, we, we were quite late into second year when we set up the site. You know, it was around sort of February, March sort of time and so we didn't have the big input from the Freshers' Fair. We only had about five members when we started. Um, I mean, we did, we did actually start up the society. Um, it was in, I think it was in February 2014. So it was good, you know, we were, we were halfway through the year, or past halfway through the, through the university year. So it's quite difficult to gain people, um, and also gain the publicity we needed to, you know, to say, hey, we're here, we're doing this. We're putting on these nights, come down if you like DJing or if you like the music, um, come and have a good time. Since we've come back in September though, we've had a huge increase in members uh, and in different projects and stuff that we run as well, such as Break the Mould at the Font and our radio shows and various other enterprises. And we were able to do it this year uh, and open up Refreshers Fair with, you know, we played some tunes to people, got them involved, so yeah, come down to a, a little taster. Um, and it was, it was a good turnout, you know, we had, we had quite a few people um, so yeah, fingers crossed next year should be, uh, should be the same. My first ever gig was for a night called B-Swang, it was their first ever night and um, basically it was a, a local guy called Nico that really wanted to kind of push underground music in Leicester, underground bass music. It was something that was a bit sparse, there was nights going on but there was no one really pulling, pulling people together um, and he asked me to kind of help him set it up and run it. Um, so we started that about two and a half years ago. I've been getting bits, bits and bobs, you know, gigs here and there. Uh, I played a B-Swang recently. Uh, well, I said recently, it was back in the Halloween B-Swang. Um, yeah, they're a great group of guys, really great group of guys. Um, know what's good in the music scene and they know what Leicester uh, needs, really. Because there's definitely a lack of um, kind of the underground bass or um, dance music scene in Leicester. Me and Rowan have a radio show on Demon FM. Uh, it's every Sunday, six to eight, called Future Vibes, um, and it's it's sort of just us DJing and having a bit of a chat about music. Uh, and the music's all quite slow, soulful. Well, not necessarily slow actually. Sometimes we do play a bit of drum and bass and a bit of more upbeat stuff, but it's typically quite easy listening, um, electronic, futury sounding. You know, it's it's not. It's not the sort of stuff that you would normally hear on the radio. And basically, um, that is that show started off from our love in uh, 
specific style of, uh, well, not sorry, not a specific style, of, uh, more of a specific genre of uh, music that does cover, I guess, other genres, but it's specific in the way that it's very kind of, uh, very chilled out, the bass heavy kind of music. Um, I mean, I'll describe it as hip hop kind of influenced. Um, there's some trap in there, there's some soul, there's R&B kind of lit stuff. There's a bit of everything really, but generally just like good music from the heart. There was like, when we first formed society, um, it was quite difficult to firstly get a night somewhere that was willing to offer us, um, you know, basically for it to be worthwhile for us to put on a night there. Um, while accepting no, you know, no payment or anything. And we wanted, we just wanted publicity and put on a big night that people would enjoy, really. Yeah, Break the Mold's really good for the DJ set. I mean, it's sort of, it's a lot better than the stuff we've had previously. Um, he just gives us free reign to do whatever we like, well, within the bounds of reason, uh, play whatever kind of music we like. More than anything, it is more of a social for the DJ society rather than trying to fill a, fill a venue uh, as much as possible. Uh, obviously, we'd love it when people come down, but it's not necessarily the main outlook. We're all just there doing it for free. We don't, we don't charge on the door. We're just doing that for the love of the music. We, we know that people run the premises. Um, yeah, we were offered um, a night there on the, the last Thursday of every month. Um, and yeah, decided this is a great place. You know, it's got a good atmosphere. A lot of people know it, it's close to uni. Um, and we can advertise as well in the daytime. We have been doing things going quite well. The sort of, the, the main objective there is to make, it's a bit of like a club night. So, you know, loud music, cheap drinks, that sort of thing. But the music has to be a bit more out of the ordinary, you know, we don't we don't just play chart stuff, we don't play commercial stuff, we try and make it different. A lot of the style that I play and um, this kind of night is more of a kind of chilled out hip hop vibe. Um, it's, I mean, I wouldn't describe the night as a, you know, a full on kind of like going out night because I mean, it, it does finish at 12, so it's a great way if you are kind of looking to um, go and have a night out with your friends, it's a great way to start it and keep yourself in. Uh, come and vibe out with us, really. We've done two Break the Mold events. Uh, the first one started really well. The second one, um, well, there weren't as many people there. Um, I think that was definitely due to the timing and also the lack of um, publicity, which is, uh, which is difficult. Uh, obviously, we're all university students, but it's quite difficult to dedicate a lot of our time towards the publicity, um, like a lot of other full-time promoters do. Yeah, I mean, it can be tough uh, balancing a, a range of things. You know, I want, you want to commit to the DJ society as much as you can, but then, DJ gigs outside of the society, work, uni work, just general day to day looking after yourself and obviously nursing a hangover that can uh, take a day out so it, it can be tough to balance it all but once you get your head around it it's okay. The only thing is we just we just need more more places and more people you know to recognise it to come and come down and, and make it a bigger a bigger thing because you know you look at you look at Nottingham other places that are around are not even burning in these in the middles. And they've got really, really good good scenes, even similar kind of scenes, uh, in the dance music um, kind of spectrum. Um, and that's where I think Leicester almost is at, it's not quite there, it's never really been quite there. So hopefully with groups like B-Swang and also the DJ Society um, and other nights that are happening by as well. Um, they're another great um, up and coming uh, record label. Um, yeah, hopefully it'll put Leicester on the map where it needs to be, really. You know, a lot of us have moved to Leicester, so we don't know much about the scene or the people in the area. So whatever few people we do meet, it's quite helpful if they can offer to lend us a hand with things like, like they have been. Um, which is, you know, at the end of the day, we're all trying to make our mark. And by, you know, meeting these people, forming good relationships and, and just being courteous to each other, we're, we're going to achieve it in a much nicer way. Yeah, I'd really like to see the DJ Society carry on and, and you know, thrive in its, uh, in its entirety, really, you know, and, and, and keep, you know, rolling over and getting bigger and more and more people um, join in. Um, but I guess, obviously, it's down to, really down to the people to take it on uh, after us. Organising stuff for the DJ Society is, like, really important to me and I want to be able to push it further and, like, get it involved with 
not just more students at DMU, but also possibly the DJ site over at Leicester Uni and the um, local people that we have around here, like nights like Beast Rang or Might As Well or Overgrounds or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, I really need to push it next year. I'll, I'll try and get it better. Hopefully I'll be part of the committee next year to help improve it and take things further for the rest of the members and help them out as well. They do it because they love love it and you know, you don't you don't like, charge to, to for your interest. You do it because it's a hobby. It's what it's what interests you. So um, everyone's all, you know always puts the time in, uh, and they do it because they love it. And that's what's great about the society. Everyone is there because they want to be there. It's not there for an end goal of being a superstar DJ. You know, touring around the world. It'd be great if it happened for one of the one of us, but uh, that's not our that's not our end goal. That's not what we're about. We're there for to enjoy ourselves and develop ourselves as DJs.